Hey, welcome to the Sunday Serving Channel, where you come every week for word of hope and gospel. And this is part of a series in the Holy Land, spending a week or so in Jerusalem and the Galilee and Israel. So here we are at the uh, Garden Tomb, which is a site many people believe was the tomb where Jesus was laid, was buried, and where the resurrection happened. Now there, there's some dispute. There's alternative sites as well. But let's go in there and and uh, read read some of the scripture about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. So come on in. So here at the Garden Tomb, let's read um, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, the burial of Jesus, and then the resurrection of Jesus. So Matthew 27, starting verse 57, records this, as, as evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in clean linen, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting opposite the tomb. So we saw the garden tomb there with the opening and it was on a big rock, right? Do you know what kind of rock that would have been? No. Um, big round rock covered the tomb and sealed. And when, when it talks about Mary and the other Mary, is that, is that the mother of Venus or a different Mary? It probably would have been a different Mary. It was very popular. And it says, the next day, the one after the preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days, I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and they made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting a guard. So imagine that whole night there was Roman soldiers as guards guarding the tomb. And imagine the, the sorrow and the grief of the apostles and the followers of Jesus, the Marys. So Paul, I think we should um, read the resurrection because wherever Jesus was buried, on the third day, we know he rose again, and that victorious moment happened at the same at the same site. So let's read this first part of Matthew 28. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb rolled back the stone and sat on it his appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow the guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men the angel said to the women do not be afraid for I know what you are that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Wow. That's amazing. So, in this garden here is where, where Jesus first met the, uh, or, or a garden like this, if it was somewhere else, 
where Jesus met the uh, two Mary. What else? Do you have any other um, things that you've read from other Greek sources? Well, I can just, I can just talk a little bit about um, why why the two women would have been coming uh, after Jesus died to prepare him. So back in those days, um, after someone died, for the first year, they would be just laid out in the front of the tomb on a bier uh, wrapped with cloths and spices. And then after one year, on the one year anniversary, people would come back and the body obviously would have decomposed by then. They would take the bones and add the bones to the family uh, sarcophagus. Which is what, which is where, if you've heard the expression, he died and was gathered to his fathers, um, like it talks about in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. that's that, that's that, that's what that means. Because you you die, and then a year later you are gathered to your fathers. Your bones are put in the same box as the rest of your family. So the women were coming to prepare Jesus for this one year of just that he would be laid there in front of the tomb. Um, they couldn't do it until after the Sabbath. The Sabbath ends on, on Saturday evening, uh, because especially touching a dead body would have involved making yourself ritually impure, which is totally fine, it's not wrong, it's just you couldn't do it on the Sabbath. Um, so that's why they waited for 24 hours. Um, but it was, it was a real service of love that they were doing, especially because Jesus didn't have any immediate family members other than his parents who were involved, obviously. You had James, the Lord's brother, right? But he doesn't really come, come into the picture until the book of Acts, so after Jesus' resurrection. Um, it's almost as though Jesus' siblings were hesitant to get involved until they knew that Jesus really was the Messiah when he was raised from the dead. So these two women, that was a real labor of love, a service of love, and that's why they came and did it at that time. So what an amazing story, the, the death and then the resurrection of Jesus. And this, this place here, the Garden Tomb, is a, is a real oasis of peace in a very busy, intense city. You walk through old Jerusalem, so many people, so much busyness. And there's, there's also a lot of tension in the air between the, the different factors and groups and religions. Um, so to come here and sense this peace is very special. And especially reading that story, the death, the burial, but then the resurrection. So Jesus is risen. Hallelujah, right? Amen. Amen. Praise God. So uh, thank you for joining and God bless you.